Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about uh, knowledge management. So, what is the knowledge management, and why do we need the knowledge management application? That thing we are going to discuss in our today's sessions. So, first thing is the knowledge management is an important application that is being used across all the platforms. Like it is being used for ITSM, CSM, HRSD, or any other application. So, knowledge management have a multiple category. Uh, mostly, it is being used for the end user to inform some um, informations or maybe for any kind of self-debugging purpose, we provided the knowledge management. But there are various type of knowledge like it could have a, some documentation purpose also knowledge management present. So, let's see that how knowledge management works. So, if you see that this is the knowledge management diagram, the first knowledge management start with the knowledge base. So, knowledge base is you can say that it's a kind of category or you can say that a container that holds that what type of knowledge article will be present. So, basically it tells that what type of knowledge base it is. Is it uh, for IT, is it for HR or is it for known error, what type of knowledge uh, base it is. Based on that knowledge base, it could have multiple knowledge articles. So, knowledge base is a container. You can see it's a packet of container that holds multiple knowledge. So, why do we need the container? That is the another question. The container needed because of that each knowledge article have a several uh, things present. So, let's say that who will be able to see this knowledge article. So, before we knowledge get published, who should approve that? Um, who should not see this knowledge article that all are defined under this knowledge base. So, knowledge base is a container that have a multiple attribute that says that who will going to approve that, who are going to see this knowledge article, all these are defined under knowledge base. Now, once the knowledge article is created and the knowledge article have a various state, one of the state called publish. So, knowledge article first initially created under the drop state, but later it will be going to be published state. Once the knowledge article in the published state, what will be happen? The knowledge article will be visible to the end user who are dedicatedly able to see that knowledge article. So, knowledge article will be visible to the end user if they are satisfied with that criteria. There is a one thing called user criteria or knowledge criteria that is actually attached to the knowledge base and we can attach that to the directly into the knowledge. So, if that user criteria is satisfied by the user, then user will be able to see this knowledge article. Okay. Now, once the knowledge article see by the user, sometime what happens, the knowledge article might be outdated, right? In that case, what can do? Um, the user can provide some feedback. There will be options to provide a feedback. So, once they provide the feedback, that feedback will be stored under this dedicated table called knowledge feedback and the knowledge feedback based on the knowledge feedback knowledge author or the owner can update these uh, knowledge article. Okay. There is another concept called knowledge template. Knowledge template is a basically child table of the knowledge uh, table. So, knowledge table is called kb underscore knowledge. It could have multiple, uh, for example, you want have some um, FAQ, right? So, you can create a template called FAQ that will be the child table of the knowledge um, actually, okay? And that can have a multiple fields. You can create the multiple fields, but it's a child table and it will be inherit from the KB underscore knowledge table, okay? So, this is the knowledge template. We'll discuss this one by one. So, let's see in our service now how this is going to be work. So, first thing if you see that under this uh, service now module, uh, if you type called knowledge here in this left navigation, you will be able to see that uh, self-service called knowledge. This is basically show you that um, this page and here multiple knowledge article are there. Right now, you can see that if I open any of this knowledge article from here, this is how the knowledge article looks like. That It have a uh, like a what is the problem it is defined here. It have a multiple explanation, any kind of um, HTML content you can put under this knowledge uh, record here. You can see that either for the documentation purpose or maybe for any kind of purpose, you can see that. And un under this knowledge, you can put the comments, uh, like you can reply that, like that you can do that, like we did that. You can provide the rating, you can mark that helpful or not and uh, that's it like this is how the knowledge looks like that you can see on the top author name is showing that um, how long I mean when it was published and then how many people are actually view that what was the rating all these are you can see under this 
here. Okay. Now let's see that I told you that the knowledge base is our starting point. So we'll go to that first called knowledge base first. So we'll go and then if you scroll down that, you will be able to see that knowledge base. So knowledge base is our starting point. And as you can see that service now provided uh, four out of box knowledge base, but you can create as many as knowledge base you want. So let's say that I will open for the IT knowledge base. So for different purposes, you can create a different knowledge bases. Um, knowledge base is dedicatedly uh, used to categorize the knowledge article. And you can see that once you open the knowledge base, it have a options called publish workflow, retired workflow. So you can attach multiple workflow out of box. We have a KB and a knowledge underscore publish workflow. What will be happen? Who will be the owner and then who will be the manager? They needs to be approved before your knowledge article get published. Okay. And then uh, once it is published, that knowledge article will be a uh, goes to the published state. I'll show you that how we can create that. There are several other things you can see that it have a you can just uncheck the disable comment, disable suggestion. You can, uh, you know, do the multiple disabling option. You can do that. If you want to set some default value in your knowledge article, you can set that here from here. And then you can see the knowledge article have a uh, one option called can read. So it means that these are the user criteria, knowledge criteria person can read this knowledge article and these these are the department who can actually contribute this knowledge article okay and this knowledge article have a multiple categories you can see news application devices all this so this is how the knowledge base is designed so knowledge base is a central place where the it define that how knowledge article will be published what are the behavior will be there for the knowledge article so let's create a knowledge article so i'll go here and then click this create new option under this you can see that article and we should be able to create a knowledge article. Now here you can see that multiple template are there. Okay. What is the template? I told you the template is a child table of the knowledge article, uh, knowledge article table. The standard is a um, the knowledge um, table, direct table and known, uh, known error is a child table. So here we are going to select the knowledge base. Okay. So we are going to select first, as you can see, the knowledge base is a mandatory field. So we are going to select call IT as a knowledge base for the timing. Okay. Now here you can see that we have a option called short description and an article body to define that what is the purpose of this knowledge article. So let's say that uh, computer not working. So this is my um, short description. And then I can define that how you can uh, debug that you might be need to restart that so we are going to create save a knowledge article so first our knowledge article is saved and you can see that right now the knowledge article workflow state is drop state so it means that this knowledge article will not be visible to any user except the author who are creating or admin user or the knowledge admin user and you can see that if you go to this bottom section, create a version. Okay. Okay. Now what we'll do, we'll just move this knowledge article to the published state. So we'll click this publish button and the knowledge article will be try to move to the published state, but it won't actually go to the publish because uh, you, um, this is not going to dire directly go to the publish. You can see the workflow changes and workflow state is showing called review. So it means the knowledge article in right now review state. And if you scroll down, you can see that it have a version two, okay, 0 0.02 version. Okay, now uh, it have a one approval, you can see this is the approval from where this approval is coming, approval is coming directly from the owner, you can see that uh, the knowledge base is called IT and it have a owner and then owner has to be approved because it have attached called knowledge approval published workflow. So owner is going to approve then only this knowledge article is going to be published. So the moment we approve that this knowledge article and you can see the knowledge article state changes to the published state and then all these fields are right now grayed out. And if you see that the version is initially was 0 0.1, 0 0.02, now it changes to the 1.2. Now this is how the knowledge article is created. Okay. 
and this is how the knowledge article workflow runs now if you click this view article you will be able to see the knowledge article how the knowledge article is looks like so you can see this is your uh, com short description computer not working this is your um, basically the description and then here you can put the comments let's say that okay so i'll put that comments as a okay so this comment will be added here you can see that it the, all these comments are showing here you can mark as a helpful or not um until unless it is disabled so if it is disabled comment you won't be able to do the comments so everything is controlled by our knowledge base so we'll say that no this is not helpful so we put that and then you can see that you have a one more options called flag article you can read that flag article and then why you are flagging so let's say that you think that the information is not um, uh, completed so you can put that information is incomplete okay so this is what i i think i think this article is not fully uh, satisfy me so i can flag the article and then um, i mean all the user multiple user can flag that article and knowledge author will be able to see all this flagged information here under this feedback you can see this uh, we have a feedback task that show that what the feedback shows all this comment all this flagged information all this helpful or not everything can be seen under this feedback but there should be a thing called flagged here if you click here So you should know that this article is flagged. This is not a normal comments. This is a flagged article. So somebody flagged that this is not in and this is not a satisfying me. So what you can do in that case, knowledge um, author or owner can click the checkout button. So once you check out that, what will be happen? The original knowledge article will be as it is active, but there will be a draft version will be created for author to update that because it might be take a um, while or one month or two months to update this knowledge article so in that case you still want to um, be uh, available that original article so original article will be uh, you know active state until unless you publish this version so if i go back to this table actually the table it's stored called kb underscore knowledge table so if you see that this is the knowledge article which is in published and then corresponding another knowledge article is created into draft state okay so this is right now published to so everyone will be all the user will be able to see the published until unless we make modification do updation and then publish this draft version let's say that okay updating that okay and then again you click the publish and then once you click the publish then you have to go through this approval process to publish your knowledge article so we'll go back again this will be generate a approval approval needs to be approved that so as you can see this is right now in uh, review state and here you can see that uh, again uh, it has to be approved so we'll click this approve the knowledge article will be a again approved so you can see it is published right now so what will be happen if I click here, you can see that the old knowledge article is right now outdated. The old knowledge article computer not working was get outdated and the new version that we have created is going to be published. So this way how the knowledge article works so that user will be always able to see the knowledge article without any um, disrupt of their process. And they can, um, the author can keep getting feedback keep getting you can see this is our version 2 here we'll get that keep getting feedback we'll try keep resolving that and then keep updating our knowledge article another thing i'm going to discuss for the admin there are multiple requests maybe come for the admin that uh, that the some users saying that i'm not able to see this knowledge article why i'm not able to see this for that you can directly go to this knowledge article and then you can click this run user criteria diagnosis you can select the knowledge article let's say that I'm selecting able tutor and then run diagnosis and I can see a report why this user is able to see why this user is not able to see that so in this way you can actually even diagnosis the knowledge article 
as you can see it's saying that read access no user criteria is configured for at the knowledge article level able tutor has read access to this id in the knowledge base as you can see that this is it is saying that it debug that it says that yes the user can see this uh, knowledge article so you can debug that knowledge article as well as so that's it for today if you have any question regarding knowledge let me know thank you very much have a great day